and welcome to the Jeremax Global Equality Bash. I am Bumper the Wild Fudge. The rest of you can introduce yourselves. I'm slipping. For some reason, the guy next to me wasn't fired during the You don't have that power. You don't have the power slip. Of course, we're having our first match. Randomly drawn, it's Alberto Del Rio. Going against Lucas Gomez. Whoa. It's your pick slip. Yes, Lucas Gomez. Going to show why he's the best man in this tournament when he defeats the Mexican aristocrat. Whereas I like to refer to him, the Mexican aristocrat. Well, he's a two time Intercontinental Champion. Gomez has only held the hardcore and tag titles. So they both held two titles. Yes, but it's quality over quantity in that case. Are you saying that the hardcore. Hey, what the hell is this? Evan, Red it's Evan Redcorn! What is Evan Redcorn doing out here? What? Wait. Look at what he's wearing. He's going to. Oh no! Oh! A centon! That's right. God damn it! Are we seeing a new member? Are you kidding me? The Crusade! You're damn right we are. Evan Redcorn making a name for himself, doing the right thing for this tournament. Come on! This is. This is unfair to Del Rio! Oh no! Could he be going for the bear corn? Oh! And he's doing Not it again! again. Ugh. This is uncalled for! This is this completely is called for! Goma should be disqualified! No, you people need to learn what's going on. This WWE crusade is the best thing that has ever happened to Jeremax, and the fact that everyone in has seen the lights is a great sign for things to come. Everyone really meaning one anything. person? We can't really do anything about this because the match hasn't started yet. It shouldn't even start. And here comes the savior of Jeremax. We can't just Said put nobody. this on Gomez. This, is, this has got to happen now. It can't be put on hold. Gomez should be disqualified. Evan Redcorn clearly stated he attacked him on behalf of Lucas Gomez. Del Rio the attack on, it was before the match even started. How can you disqualify a man for something that happened before a match? Whatever. Is that the kind of, that the kind of show that's going around here, Bubba? How would I know? I mean, look. Del Rio kicked that before even a one count. Clearly, he's still fit for competition. He took two bear corns and a cent on. Quit making excuses for the guy you obviously want to win this match, Alberto Del Rio. Basically, I do. I want to see Del Rio get a shot. Not Gomez, who cheats, obviously. See, you, you're you clearly stating favoritism. Why Del wouldn't Del I? Did you just see what happened? Yes, I did. I saw a great thing happen. And there he's working Good the arm. arm bar. Smart move, Del Rio going, working the arm to set up for that cross arm breaker. I can't believe you you would stand up for Del Rio after what we just saw. Why wouldn't I stand up for Del Rio after what we just saw? Did you not hear what he said? Evan Redcorn spoke the truth and you just deny it. This isn't about the truth. This is about this is about the tournament. Yeah, and look who's dominating the tournament. And look, a little taste of Del Rio's medicine back to him, an arm bar applied to the Mexican aristocrat. Well I can't take it anyway anything away from Gomez. He is a, the longest reigning hardcore champion, I believe. But you try taking away from him whenever you're walking out. Well, he should he's, win he's by his own merit. He's only won the hardcore title and the tag title. He hasn't been an intercontinental champion. Well, and he he, he fights dirty. I'll admit are it. Saying, are you saying the entire Shield trip are second class citizens here? Three originals are second class citizens because of the titles they hold? Is that what you're saying right now? I'm saying vertical suplex. Hold on. Here we go. Lucas Gomez knows what we want to see, and that's a vertical suplex. Oh, this is pandering to you. Incredible hang time on that suplex. I agree, Duel. Good commentary. I have to call it down the middle. No biases. You should be the lead commentator for this company, not Bubba the Love Fudge. You don't want that position? Well, if they'd offer it, I'd obviously take it. Del Rio making a comeback. Showing that he still has some fight left after that brutal attack. See, Del Rio, you keep making excuses. Del Rio, Move. this Move. throws Gomez into the outside. Two. Nobody's making excuses Three. except for oh, it's Oh, he's taking too many risks. He's, his body's hurt. You try to focus on a ground game to defeat Lucas Gomez. Well, clearly, Alberto Del Rio is a terrible strategist. And here One we go. Oh my! Second God. time. Shut up, Bubba. This is great. Drops him down with another vertical suplex. Looking to end it. And at this point, 
He should really end it for the sake of Del Rio. There's no way Del Rio was going to win this match after what Evan Redcorn did. And the Cuban down. And they had no choice but to stay down for the advances to the semifinals. And somehow Slip's pick makes it past the first round. Single handedly round. defeats Alberto Del Rio. Oh, now you're just being a dick. What? Did you see another man out here when this match started? Three controversial means to say the very least. Lucas Gomez advances in this tournament. He's a he's a talented individual. He doesn't need it. Evan Redcorn to weaken Del Rio. You can call it what you want to. Hold on. You all shut Not up. Not again. You here shut comes, up. Here comes the king. He's arriving. In that same parking lot, we saw Michael Cole unjustly attacked by El Jefe earlier. Kickoff show. Of course, Cole taken to the emergency room. Man, I can serious business tonight as his title is on the line. Never it is. Really, never got over the fact that he beat a fake El Jefe at Jeremania. Oh, come on! Is that the way you want your champion to act? Wait, he's gonna do it alone? You don't want? <laughs> yeah, duel? What the hell? Man, I couldn't do this by himself, duel? Yes, that is the way I want my champion to act. Thank you very much. Look at this. Next person picked. Chris Jericho from Canada. You treat your friends like that. Okay, well, there you go. Okay. And he's gonna be facing the Filipino British guy, Steven Santos. European champion. Can't wait to see. Evan Redcorn jump Chris Jericho before this match starts. Oh yes, because Evan Redcorn's just working on his own, right? Well, yeah. it's another one of these guys from WWE clearly invading the, a spot that should have been for an original. Jericho's earning his spot, you have to give that to He him. defeated Edge to earn that spot. Another WWE guy. There's what? no original CAW from Canada in Jeremy. Okay, why don't they give it the Skippy Curls? He's from, he's formerly from Asia. Why don't they give it to any of the other guys around here? Why didn't Zukok Poop Goblin get in? Guess he does. Why not Johnny? Do you want to see Johnny? <laughs> well, more than Chris Jericho, yes. This is why I'm on Lucas Gomez's side, because I'm sick and tired of seeing WWE guys dilute Jeremax. And Steven Santos clearly taking the upper hand, dominating Chris Jericho. What are the odds of Santos defeating the undefeated Jericho? He's the European champion. He has won many impressive wins over the past past few months. I'd give I'm giving Santos the edge. He has the most devastating, debilitating move in Jeromax if he hits that hangman's DDT. That is a nasty move. Oh whoa! A single right hand since Jericho flying. <laughs> you might have overdone that, Jericho. Jericho needs to regroup here. Santos not letting him even rest, throws him into the corner. Oh! A little bit of showmanship by Santos, kicking him Whoa, in the Whoa, what a monkey flip! It's a monkey flip. Jericho, last time we saw him at Ooze. Actually, we saw Beat him at Beat Matt Icorns. But at Ooze. A vortex, I believe. He defeated Pac-Man Jones. Since then, Pac-Man has not been the same man, so Chris Jericho has been dominant. Pac-Man Jones was supposed to be in a qualifier for this tournament. He just refused to... Enter, and that's and how Jared Angle got in. Exactly right. Back at warp. I don't know why Pac-Man. He he lost a couple big matches, but Pac-Man's happy to just mope around backstage in a boiler room. And as Duel mentioned, Jericho did fight, fight Matt Icorn. Matt Icorn wisely walked away from that match. He the, was a coward. He it wisely, was cowardly. Wisely walked away from that match, realizing he has nothing to do with Chris Jericho. Who acted like an idiot jumping outside the ring the entire time? He wanted to put a finishing maneuver to take down the king. He wanted to get Icorn he, back he, in the ring. He couldn't even hit Icorn. Santos now. Nice. That was a nice overhead suplex, dropping Jericho down on the back. Pretty back and forth. Getting strikes. I don't think Chris Jericho expected this much fight out of Santos. He's only looking to facing a popular who he considers faces of the company. No, what you mean is WWE superstars, right? That's what you mean? Like Jared Angle and Pac-Man Jones, yeah. You mean like Sheamus? Other people in this tournament taking up spots? I'm talking about in general. Chris Jericho wants to be the face of Jeremax. and only wants to take on top competition. Including the champion, a Jeremax original. 
Okay, let's say that my Matt Icorn somehow walks away from tonight with the title. Let's say when he walks. Will he walk? Will he run away from Jericho again if Jericho wins the tournament? No. Yeah, I bet. He won't, because then he'd have something to prove, and he will prove it, just like he will tonight when he defeats El Jefe without the help of his kingdom. Santos, though, is in control. He promised on Vortex he would Wait, be a double champion. Santo, signaling to the crowd. He might have been going for that Hangman's ET as a, an opportunity here. Jericho trying to find something that can get it back in this match, like that forearm. You miss, though. Jericho's he's seeming a little desperate. Desperation, exactly. One time Ow. I can agree with you, Bubba. I, w I wouldn't call it desperation. Two. He's flailing his Wait a minute. Around. Oh. Maybe tricking Jericho into thinking he was going for a dive. No! What a super slam. And Steven Santos is in control of Chris There's Jericho. There's not much protection out there. However, Chris Jericho is a veteran, and it just takes one moment to get the advantage back on his side, as we see. As he's laying those boots down to Steven Santos. Oh! But no, Santos gains momentum back again. Whoa. Oh! Down to that solid steel guardrail. That guardrail's seeing a lot of action tonight. And if you notice how long this match is, Lucas Gomez finished Del Rio up quickly. He's gonna have oh. energy for the rest of the night. Gee, I wonder why. Wait a minute! Out of nowhere with the power bomb and the second. Kept the hands latched. Get a this, second. This power could bomb. be it. Out of nowhere. I think that is it. Oh. No, it's not. You gotta admire the the drive of Steven Santos to kick out of that. But. The energy being wasted here will definitely hinder their performance throughout the rest of the night. But now he's working the legs. Looking to lock in those walls of Jericho. Jericho figures if he can't take him down to the power bombs, he might as well go for the legs. Sound strategy. But will it pay off? Because Santos is back up again. Fighting back now. Off the ropes. Oh yeah, Jericho using that veteran instinct, but never mind! Beautiful exploder. The European champion proving why he is... A champion here in Jeremy. Oh, God. And, and once it's again. up again. Stalling. Keeping him. The blood flowing to the head. Disorienting Steven Santos as he dropped with a vertical suplex. I have to admit, before coming to this match, I thought Steven Santos would be a little preoccupied thinking maybe about the artist formerly known as Winter Bradley's. <laughs> I don't think he cares about the artist at all. You saw in Vortex. He Clearly not. Blew off Ray Chill. Gets a go behind. Gets an elbow. Wait a minute. More Back leg work. Him. Once the again, lifeless. dropping the knee. And hitting him right in that joint. Very, very sensitive area of the human anatomy. Oh, come, come on. on. Once again. Shut up, Bubba. This is the greatest move in wrestling. Please. Vertical suplex. <laughs> He's just making the, latch, the match longer at this point. You have a problem with long matches? Well, no, but not when you're deliberately stalled. Oh, no. It's over. In a second, over. again. Four power bombs on oh, Steven man. Santos. Oh, wait a minute. What's in almost a lion tamer? How can he not tap out? He's gonna have to quit. No man can re Oh, no! Oh. He somehow this wiggled free. This tournament oh. needs more than anything else. Santos shot at that title. Santos showing some true fighting spirit, some heart, some discipline. Some might think. Oh, oh God! That was sickening to watch. I, I think it's done now. Anything Jericho does after this is over, because look, he's waiting for him. Oh, what a oh, it's, line! It's gonna cost him. Oh, I caught him. Or not. Up and down again for the fifth. And the sixth power bomb of the night from Chris Jericho. You can't kick out of that. That's it. I gotta give credit to both men. That was one hell of a match, but Jericho pulls it off in the end. Jericho's still undefeated. What a stupid move by Jericho. He should have finished off Santos as quickly as possible. Instead, he waited around, waited for Santos, took more damage, and now he's going to be hurt even maybe more. He needed, maybe he needed. Maybe he thought he could hold his breath, gain a little energy back before ending it. But Santos said no way, and it cost him. Of course, Gomez versus Jericho for the next round. What about that one? I can't. Another WWE guy. Disgusting. Oh please. You can't argue with him after a 
after a win like that, dominance shown Santos. by Chris Jericho. How about delusional? Realistic, that's, that's, that's a great that's, way to put it. How about delusional? Egomaniacal, those are words for Chris Jericho. But does he have a point? Incredible confidence. Believes in himself and he believes that he's going to win tonight. And that's the only way you're going to win this tournament full of capable competitors. There's, uh, I believe, two more opening round matches to go. Yeah, but who's going to fight who? I guess we're going to have to wait and find out. Stay tuned.